A compass is a technical drawing instrument that can be used for inscribing circles or arcs. As dividers, they can also be used as tools to measure distances, in particular on maps. Compasses can be used for mathematics, drafting, navigation, and other purposes. Compasses are usually made of metal or plastic, and consist of two parts connected by a hinge which can be adjusted to allow the changing of the radius of the circle drawn. Typically one part has a spike at its end, and the other part a pencil, or sometimes a pen. Prior to computerization, compasses and other tools for manual drafting were often packaged as a bow set, with interchangeable parts. Today these facilities are more often provided by computer-aided design programs. So the physical tools serve mainly a didactic purpose in teaching geometry, technical drawing, etc. Construction and parts. Compasses are usually made of metal or plastic, and consist of two parts connected by a hinge which can be adjusted to allow the changing of the radius of the circle drawn. Typically one part has a spike at its end, and the other part a pencil, or sometimes a pen. Handle The handle is usually about half an inch long. Users can grip it between their pointer finger and thumb. Legs There are two types of legs in a compass. The straight or the steady leg and the adjustable one. Each has a separate purpose. The steady leg serves as the basis or support for the needle point, while the adjustable leg can be altered in order to draw different sizes of circles. Hinge The screw on your hinge holds the two legs in its position. The hinge can be adjusted depending on desired stiffness. The tighter the screw the better the compass of performance. Needle point The needle point is located on the steady leg and serves as the center point of circles that are drawn. Pencil lead The pencil lead draws the circle on a particular paper or material. Adjusting nut This holds the pencil lead or pen in place. Uses Circles can be made by fastening one leg of the compasses into the paper with the spike, putting the pencil on the paper, and moving the pencil around while keeping the hinge on the same angle. The radius of the circle can be adjusted by changing the angle of the hinge. Distances can be measured on a map using compasses with two spikes, also called of dividing compass. The hinge is set in such a way that the distance between the spikes on the map represents a certain distance in reality, and by measuring how many times the compasses fit between two points on the map the distance between those points can be calculated. To use a compass place the points on a ruler and open it to the measurement of one half of the measurement of the circle that you want to draw. For instance, if you desire to draw a three circle, open the compass to one and a half. Next, place the point on the spot that you wish the center of your circle to be, and then rotate the section that has the pencil lead around the point using the handle, compass and straight edge. Compass and straight edge constructions are used to illustrate principles of plane geometry. The most rigorous definition of this abstract tool is the collapsing compass. Having drawn a circle from a given point with a given radius, it disappears. It cannot simply be moved to another point and used to draw another circle of equal radius. Euclid showed in his second proposition that such a collapsing compass could be used to transfer a distance proving that a collapsing compass could do anything a real compass can do. Variance Beam compass is an instrument with a wooden or brass beam and sliding sockets, or curses, for drawing and dividing circles larger than those made by a regular pair of compasses. Scribe compass is an instrument used by carpenters and other tradesmen. Some compasses can be used to scribe circles, bisect angles and in this case to trace a line. It is the compass in the most simple form. Both branches are crimped metal. One branch has a pencil sleeve while the other branch is crimped with a fine point protruding from the end. The wing nut serves two purposes. First it tightens the pencil and secondly it locks in the desired distance when the wing nut is turned clockwise. Loose leg wing dividers are made of all forged steel. The pencil holder, thumb screws, brass pivot and branches are all well built. They are used for scribing circles and stepping off repetitive measurements with some accuracy. 
Proportional compass, also known as a military compass or sector, was an instrument used for calculation from the end of the 16th century until the 19th century. It consists of two rulers of equal length joined by a hinge. Different types of scales are inscribed on the rulers that allow for mathematical calculation. As a symbol, a compass is often used as a symbol of precision and discernment. As such it finds a place in logos and symbols such as the Freemasons Square and compasses and in various computer icons. English poet, John Donne used the compass as a conceit in, a valediction, forbidding morning, compass for tracing a line, flat branch, pivot wing nut, pencil sleeve branch of the scribe compass. Six dividers made from forged steel. One type of sector. A compass on the coat of arms of East Germany. The compass is a Masonic symbol that appears on jewellery such as this pendant.